you know, we can actually taste the pollution in so many bits of London. But we thought, well, actually, we wanted to know what is it, what is, you know, how high is the pollution, and then specifically to look at what we could do with it. Um, because of things such as looking at uh, Camden does have an, an air, air quality strategy, but we think that it's probably not um, not abiding by it. At the time of the Highgate uh, survey, there were a lot of recommendations that came out of it in terms of low emission bus buses, of 20 mile an hour limits, a whole range of stuff. But we don't, none of them actually have been implemented. Uh, so we wanted to give ourselves and, and other campaigners, it's not an exclusive Green Party project, it's being led by the Green Party, but a lot of other community groups have since got involved with us, to see what we can do to arm ourselves to, to go to whoever the appropriate bodies. But it might be the uh, Camden in some places, uh, Camden Council, um, the London Assembly, Transport for London, and even the, the government to see, and particularly if we, where we can look at how, um, how these uh, pollution levels re relate to local facilities such as schools and health centres as well. Particularly, Paul, I'm very interested in what you're saying about about how you can try to show some kind of relation between uh, health issues and pollution. But we thought, we thought what we needed to do was arm ourselves with the facts first of all, because that helps. Because then we'll localise those London-wide levels to what we actually have in Hamden. So we've looked, we're looking specifically at three wards that run across the kind of centre of Camden, which is uh, Cantalows, uh, Kentish Town and the Gospel Oak. And that's what we're doing in this time so that we can have a reasonable number of monitors in each of those areas so we can actually you know, drill down to see where is the pollution highest. So that, that's kind of it. And, and so the, the rest of us are very, really, absolutely really pleased to be here being assisted by Andrew and the team to help us plan where they're going to be. And we're very happy for others to, to watch what we're doing and of course we'll be sharing everything we do on our website for others to be able to take from that and use them as they can. Thank you so much. What was the cause of the uh, target? Why was it so... Well, this is it. It's because it's mainly because of through traffic, I think. Because when you look at where the high levels are, they, they do seem to be that. So this is the thing: is it's not even necessarily always people that lo live locally using their cars. It's people coming through. But others we do seem to be related to um, rat runs through, but also people dropping uh, their children off at schools. So yeah, that's the thing: people care about their children, but they but and they will use their car to take their children to school rather than walking. And you can see some direct correlations in there as well. That's why. And when you say um, high, how high? I mean, well, it's of, it's of, one of the highest spots in London. It's next to. In fact, it's in terms of measurements. Um, I don't know the exact um, the exact. Um, you say it's 39 at the least. Oh, you mean high? It's not not height, yes. but yeah. okay. The highest was 80. Well, that's higher than Finchley Road. Yeah, and, that, and that's, so that's double what the legal limit is. Um, that we had a 71, a 72, a 77, lots in the 50s and lots in the 40s as well. And as I say, we think that's probably one of, going to be one of the cleanest areas of our bar in terms of air pollution. So that's what we're doing it for now, just to compare. And in fact, we're going back to about five sites in that original monitor that was done two years ago, almost exactly two years ago actually, to see what's happened over the two years. Because the council had those figures two years ago, and if they've not, you know, if they've not got any better, then it, we think it's going to be very useful to go back and say, look, you know, actually, we told you about this. Yeah. Time ago. We're giving you a call. <laughs> Uh, From a legal point of view, obviously, um, you know, it, that provides great evidence of breach. And also, from the vic choosing the victim's point of view, you best getting them from the most uh, affected areas, you know, the, the really high uh, levels of reporting on the monitors. So it's really useful. Mm. Was it done by diffusion tubes? Or? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's, we're repeating so almost exactly the same technique right. to try to make it as comparable as possible. Yes.